Hey, what's going on YouTube? Hopefully you like that little intro and I will explain more uh, about that in a few minutes. But I went through and I provided a challenge for Ra Ra who's been going through and trying to debunk some of these video clips that have been posted and claimed as proof of cheating. Uh, I posted one such clip that I used a long time ago in Z Laner's video, my, my very first one on him. And he isn't able to recreate that. Instead, he says it's just aim assist. Real quick, this is for the uh, the kids on Twitter who keep saying, uh, we don't care, we're not talking about Modern Warfare 19, we're not talking about Modern Warfare 19, let's talk about Warzone. Here you go, eSports talk. It is essentially the Battle Royale game and mode for Modern Warfare. Much like that of Blackout was for Black Ops 4. It's based on Modern Warfare. So, what mythical world do you live in that Warzone is not part of Modern Warfare? You don't want to hear me talk about Modern Warfare because I'm semi-decent at it. That's why you don't want me to bring it up. So, let's go ahead and use your argument against you. So the first person we're going to talk about today is the gaming definition. So he plays keyboard and mouse, digital, and he is one of the 1.1% of COD Modern Warfare players. Again, Warzone is a standalone version based off of Modern Warfare 19. Right here, Z Laner belongs to 3.6%. So... N not even a third is good in the top percent compared to the gaming definition. But a lot of you keep saying that it's Warzone, it's Warzone, it's not Modern Warfare, blah, blah, blah. And that's your little crying spiel. So the other person we're going to use is Bolotac. Bolotac is in the top 0.5% in comparison to Z Laner's top 0.1%. So if it's about wins, we're going to sit there and take the gameplay from somebody with much more wins than Z Laner and compare it to Zaim. But if it's just about aim compared to aim, then we also have the gaming definition that we're going to compare to Z Laner. So I want to go ahead and just destroy both of those arguments that you would like to make well in advance. This is video from the gaming definition. He plays keyboard and mouse. Uh, he used to be whitelisted uh, at one point, uh, according to BBB. As well, he is arguably one of the best keyboard and mouse players I have seen for Modern Warfare and Warzone. Uh, but let's uh, look at some of his gameplay here, and then I'll play it a little bit slower. All right, let's go ahead and stop it there. So, as you notice, like every time he moves his mouse, you can see from his hand cam that his his mouse movement matches up with what you see on the screen. All right, I slowed this down a 10% speed. Watch his hand movement here, along with the screen movement. So as he comes over, if I were to rotate and shift this, you can see his mouse aim lands on the player. He overshoots just a little bit. Strafes the left to correct it. See his hand movement, he's going to shoot a little bit off to the side a little bit. Goes through, finishes the player out, and his mouse movement tracks perfectly with his, his actual game movement. So the starts and stops that you see 
that's digital. As soon as he stops moving his hand, that's it. There's no slowdown to it. It just stops as soon as he mo stops moving his hand. Now, this is him playing a completely different game. This is uh, Titan 2, I believe. And his gameplay is exactly the same in a completely different game. So this is like the beginning of it when, uh, when you're first like getting into it. So if you oh, notice that right there. As soon as he moves his hand, he snaps it over. It stops moving. That's it. Uh, it's it's digital. Start, stop, start, stop. There's no slow, you know, speed up, slow down, speed up, slow down. Oh, hey. All right, so this is Bolo Tech. Um, again, going off the stats and the whole Warzone win argument is arguably by your omission, those who like to argue in Z-Laner's favor, by your omission, he is a far superior player than Z-Laner. He holds more Warzone wins. Um, so, I mean, you can argue with that all you want. I'm just using your own argument against you. So I went through his gameplay, and I found one clip that actually is a very good comparative example compared to that zip, that clip of Z-Laner. So let's go ahead and play it real quick, and I'll explain why it is a good comparison. No second chances. Resurgence has been closed. You got gas inbound. Safe zone relocated. All right. So right here, he throws out the snapshot grenade. He knows exactly where the enemy position is. Below him at the bottom of the staircase. So he knows that when he goes down those stairs, he's going to have to do a 180, and he knows roughly exactly where that enemy is. So he knows exactly how to speed up and slow down his aim. Jumps down the stairs, he knows roughly exactly where the enemy is. So he already has an advanced notification. I need to whip my aim around this corner, and I know I need to stop it somewhere right in this vicinity because there's a player there that I just got with my snapshot grenade. He then goes through, engages the enemy, and kills him. So now that we know that he knew the enemy was there, he knew exactly where he had to aim, let's see if this top war zone winner is able to replicate with the same speed on an enemy moving the opposite direction of him so they're not even moving the opposite you know they're not even moving in the inverse of his aim they're they're just running away from him so it should be easier for him this top war zone player to be able to get his aim to stick on any one position for any length of time so let's see, is this the, yeah. So he comes downstairs, comes over with his aim. The aim first hits the enemy. All right, so we're one frame in. It's off to the side. It's a 10% speed, so it's going to sit there and jerk around on me some. It's already moved a little bit on the player model. moved again on the player model next frame all right it's already shifted over again on the player model so it hasn't that that white dot hasn't stayed in the same location any length of time yet next frame it's moving moving over to the left now so this would appear as if we are actually seeing the occurrence of analog in effect. It's constantly reading data. So he came down those stairs. See, it's already gone from the right side, like on his right hip. It's already towards the center 
lower of his back. It's moved a little bit each frame over. Now it's about center away on the, the, the enemy compared to where it was over on the side. Now he's working over to the other side of the player. Now Zayn's almost all, all the way on the other side of the player at this point. There you go. So what you're seeing there, let me get my controller. Again, aim assist, if you look at it in the, uh, in the game, it says it's a, it slows down your aim. So I don't remember which one he, which one's for aiming uh, outside of my testing. I don't use it. So he came down the stairs. Uh, let's say it's this. So he came down the stairs. He looked at the side. So he had to whip his aim over, and he knew exactly or pretty close to where the enemy was and instantly had to come back over to the other direction, or at least just a little bit, in order to not overshoot the player. Plus, he also has that braking mechanism. So as he's leaning over on his control, his analog stick, and he's starting to come back, it's continuously reading input. So the faster he moves it, the, the less it's going to on those... Um, on the frequency, update frequencies from the voltage that it's reading from this, as he starts to break back, that's why you're seeing this rubber band. So he came through, he swung to the side of the player, slowed down, and now his aim's coming back. It's like a, a rubber banding effect. And what that is, is it's continuously reading like a sine wave. So a sine wave has ups and downs. So in this right here, as he's going through and he's whipping at 180, it's coming up, but then he has to get his aim to stop, which he's bringing it back down, and he's trying not to overshoot too much. So it's like a big increase in voltage in one direction, and as it comes back down, it dips just a little bit. And what that is, it's like a rubber banding effect. Um, so you shouldn't see any start and stop like you would on a mouse when you're using analog. So let's go take a look at Z Laner's clip that I had asked Ra Ra to debunk. So from the video in question, I believe this is as far back as it goes. So it gives us as much knowledge as we can potentially get from it. I come one too right here. Yeah, no, no, no. Just bring yours. It's all good. We can hop out and grab that one as well. I'm gonna grab this vehicle for us, Doc. Mm, yep. Guy in front they of me right now. Guy in front of me right now. So he goes through. Dead. I guess he's going to the buy station. He had seen the one guy in the glass. But here's my thing. Grab it, hop in it. I don't know how he knew about this other guy, let alone that he would be right there. So, I mean, I've turned the volume up. There's a little bit of music playing in it. So, I, I don't know. I, I can't hear the audio from it. And, I mean, either there's a problem with my Bose QC35s at 100% volume or something, and I can't hear them. Or maybe instead of paying 300 and something dollars for headphones, I should pay $900 like Aiden. And maybe I can hear the footsteps at that point and you know, get a little echolocation going on. Um, so he comes through. Somehow he, without I, I even knowing that that hey, enemy was going to be running it, across, which should have caught him off guard completely, I got both these guys he's dead. able to get his aim to stop on a dime. So he comes in. His aim... Comes over, hard break. So he comes in, aims real quick, and somehow there is no rubber banding. No overshoot, no undershoot. Pixel perfect precision, like digital. I, I realize he's strafing with him, but he just went from reading voltage to reading nothing. So uh, how you can go from reading a signature from analog to changing to a digital signature like this, 
It's impossible. You cannot do that. That is that is mathematically and scientifically impossible unless you are using something. I, I, you can argue it any way you want. You can say whatever you want, but that is not possible. This clip right here is one that nobody will be able to recreate unless they have whatever Z-Laner had. I mean, I just compared one of the top of Warzone pros to Z-Laner, and he can't even do that. And he has twice as many, if not more, wins than Z-Laner at Warzone. So if that's the argument you want to go with, is that, oh, you're just not good, you know, you just have zero wins at Warzone, you're no good. All right, whatever, you can argue it with that. Oh, well, you're just not one of the, the, the top people you know, to play Warzone or know anything about the aiming mechanics. Okay, well, the gaming definition does. And his aim is able to do something similar to this. He's able to make micro adjustments on a digital scale with keyboard and mouse. And I don't even know if he can do that. So what you're seeing in this clip, it's humanly impossible unless you are using something that runs off a programmed nature that can hold your aim on an object in that fashion. So, I mean, I, I don't know any way anybody's going to be able to replicate this in controlled circumstances for a monetary reward without the use of a third-party app. I mean, it's, it's just impossible. So, uh, wait a second. I think I'm getting a, a call. Hello? Oh, oh, you have somebody who who thinks that they've replicated it. Uh, all right. Um uh here let me let me get them let me get them on a screen here. Yes, we have a live attempt from Death Dealer himself who thinks he can recreate the Pixel Perfect aim from Z Laner. Uh, let's go ahead and play that video for you now. Come on! I gotta do it! For you, Z! Oh, it's so good! Fuck! Just let me suck your dick, Z! Well, I really don't know what to say to that. Other than, uh... Yeah. That seems pretty desperate. Wait, did he just ask to... Yes, I do believe he did offer to suck his. Yes. Is that a curling iron? Oh, you should probably get your eyes checked. That 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 was not a curling iron. Um, clearly, you, you don't know what Pixel Perfect looks like, sir. All right, back to you. Well, that was different. Um, I guess it'll wrap it up for this video. So, I'll catch y'all later. Deuces. That would be really good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, that, that was.